Hey, James and Lenita, we're waiting for um, checking the link. Some For some reason, the public link isn't doesn't seem to be working. So we're checking on that and then we'll call to order once we get that fixed. Thank you. Sounds good. Good morning. Um, we are ready to uh, begin our first budget hearing for the tentative FY24 budget. Um, present, we have Ms. Lenita Broom, Chief Financial Officer and Board Member and Chair, Men of the Board, James Herndon. Um, Ms. Broom, go ahead. Good evening, Board Chair, Board Members, Community, and Colleagues. We are approaching the end of budget season. and prior oh, hey, to Lenita, we can't hear you. I can hear her. Um, I have my volume on. Lenita, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine, yes. Okay. Dr. Furman, do you want me to continue? Yeah. Can you hear her? I can't, no. Hold on, Ashaki's coming to help you. I think this is on Maggie's end. I think so, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird because when you're talking, Lenita, your screen, like the green bar around your screen goes on. So I don't know why we can't hear you. Courtney, can you hear Lenita? Picking up your sound. I can hear her. Okay. Can someone tell Dr. Furman that I bet her speakers are cut off? Yep. Doing it right now. Do you all want me to do to earlier too when you were on with a So we can hear you. I say get started. Okay. Um, we want to make sure that all stakeholders are aware and informed of the tentative 2024 budget that is under consideration for adoption at this evening 630 board meeting. Today, we will, we will review the four budgets under consideration for adoption, which are school nutrition, special revenue, capital, and general fund. We will look at the fund balance, multi-year budget, millage rate, and projected digest growth. Since November 2022, we have had consistent and ongoing discussions on the fiscal year 24 budget. We have reviewed the budget history and discussed the budget process budget priorities, salary enhancements, fiscal year 24 personnel and operational requests, fund balances, state funding changes, millage rate, and unfunded mandates, such as the 7,620 annual increase in health benefits per employee. Last month, the board tentatively approved the fiscal year 2024 budget. The board is scheduled to approve the final fiscal year 24 budget and tentatively approve the fiscal year 2023 millage rate of 21 at this evening's 630 board meeting. The budget consists of four major funds. The first major fund is the school nutrition budget. School nutrition revenue is projected to be approximately 3 million. Due to decrease, decreased sales, revenue for school nutrition has declined, and we are anticipating that general fund will need to supplement school nutrition by an additional $300,000 to balance the budget. This will bring the general fund total supplement for school nutrition to approximately $1.2 million. The largest revenue source for school nutrition is from sales and, and salaries. Therefore, declining sales and declining enrollment negatively impact school nutrition revenue. School nutrition estimated expenditures are $3.3 million, with the biggest expense being the purchase of food. The second major fund is the special revenue fund. 
Special revenue funds are reimbursable grants received from the state and federal government. Special revenue budget is projected to be approximately 2.7 million, and the revenue is balanced with the expenditures. The special revenue budget has stipulations on how the funds can be used, and there's not much flexibility in the budget. The third major fund is the capital budget. The capital budget for fiscal year 24 will consist of revenue proceeds from SPLA 6, which is a one cent sales tax from all purchases made in DeKalb County. The anticipated revenue generated from SPLA 6 is approximately 4 million over a five year period or 8 million per fiscal year. Fiscal year 23 anticipated ending fund balance for capital funds is approximately 1.9 9 million shown highlighted in blue. The 8 million anticipated revenue and 1.9 for fiscal year 23 projected ending fund balance brings the total projected revenue for capital funds to approximately 9.9 .9 million. The fiscal year 24 capital budget is 8.6 million and includes software, textbooks, building improvements, and land improvements, including the partnership with the city of Decatur to build a running track inside Legacy Park. The projected fiscal year 24 ended fund balance for capital is 1.2 million. Capital proceeds are received monthly, so the 1.2 million will be the beginning fund balance for fiscal year 25 and will allow capital purchases such as textbook and software to be made at the beginning of the fiscal year. The fourth and final and main operating budget is the general fund. Major revenue and expenditures assumption for fiscal year 24 includes a $2,000 salary increase from state for earned certified position. This equates to about 415 of the district's 900 plus positions. The positive and negative to the side indicates that this is both a revenue and an expense. The state will give us the funds and we will expense it out to personnel. Increase in local five mil share contribution to QBE. To participate in the QBE program, which is the state's funding program, the state deducts the equivalent of five mils from the district's funding. The five mil is based on the tax digest value. The five mil is a percentage of the tax digest. So when the tax digest grows, so does the amount required for five mils. The red negative indicates that this is a deduction from revenue. Increase half the benefits of certified employees by 7,620 per employee. For fiscal year 24, the state will fund the increase for all certified employees. So this is both a positive and a negative. Projected 7% increase in tax digest is an increase in revenue. General fund expenditures assumptions include increase of 250 per month or 1500 for six months per non-certified employees for health benefits effective January 2024. The state is not, not covering the cost for non-certified health benefits, so this is an increase in expenditures. A little over 235 non-certified employees currently use the district's health benefits. Increase annual benefits for certified by 7,620. This is both a revenue and an expense since the state will provide funding for certified employees. 2,000 salary increase and staff increases for all employees. The state will cover the 2000 increase for 415 employees and the district will be responsible for funding the remaining 500 plus employees. Personnel and operational increases for fiscal year 24 will also increase expenditures. Federal trends that are currently impacting the budget and are anticipated to continue impacting the budget include a nationwide decline in enrollment, School age population are moving away from urban area, areas. Decline in birth rates. Inflation rates are increasing and there are challenges in all labor markets with recruitment and retention. An economic slowdown is on the rise. 
All of the assumptions and trends were taken into consideration while building the fiscal year 24 general fund budget. The projected general fund revenue increased by 9 million from the current fiscal year 23 to fiscal year 24. As discussed on previous slide, the tax digest is projected to increase by 7%. Local other consists of funds received for tuition, surplus sales, facility rental, alcohol taxes, and miscellaneous revenue, and that stayed constant. State general and other is revenue received from the state. The increase from last year is due primarily to the $2,000 salary increase for earned employees and the increase in health benefits. Total projected revenue for fiscal year 24 is approximately 95.5 million. The detailed breakdown of revenue increases is listed in the appendix. Fiscal year 24, general fund requested expenditures additions. Departments and schools are requested to submit detailed expenditure requests each fiscal year. The department or school budget owner must justify each request and tie it to one of the district's strategic goals. There were approximately 5.7 million worth of expenses requested this year. In addition, there were 6.3 million in expenditures increases for the salaries and benefit increases previously discussed. The superintendent reviewed each request and of the 5.7 million, approximately 3.3 million are being recommended in conjunction with the 6.3 million increases for salary and benefits for fiscal year 24. Details of the 9.6 million of requests are listed in the appendix. Adding the approximately 9.6 million fiscal year 24 additions to fiscal year 23 budgeted expenditures result in a fiscal year 24 expenditure budget of 97.4. This slide is your 2024 tentative general fund budget that was approved at April's board meeting and is scheduled for final approval at this evening's 630 board meeting. In order to balance the budget, 1.9 million, as highlighted in yellow, will be taken from the fund balance, which leaves a projected ending fund balance of approximately 7.5 million. The millage rate remains the same at 21. The end ending fund balance percentage is 7.65%, which is higher than the minimum fund balance of 4% as requested by as required by board policy. This slide shows the fund balance percentage history from 2012 to present. As shown, the fund balance is decreasing at a rapid pace. Board policy specifies a fund balance between 4 and 15%. Ideally, 10% is a good fund balance for the district to maintain. This is a snapshot of a three-year multi-year budget. Local revenue increases by 6% each year. Other local increases, other local increases by 100,000 in fiscal year 25 and 50,000 in fiscal year 26. This increase is due primarily from tuition, alcohol taxes, stop arm camera revenue, and surplus sales. QBE state funds remain the same due to declining enrollment. Until enrollment increases, the state will hold the district harmless and not take revenue from us. However, revenue will not increase until it is earned beyond the whole harmless amount. Expenses for each year includes a 2% cost of living adjustment, a step increase, and increases from non-certified health benefits for both fiscal years. Non-certified health benefits increases will be phased in over the next three years, starting with 250, 250 per month per employee for fiscal year 24 and 25, and 135 per month per employee for fiscal year 26. 5% operational increases is built in the budget for fiscal year 25, and a 3% increase is built in for fiscal year 26. 1.3 would be needed from fund balance to balance the budget for fiscal year 25, 
And in fiscal year 26, we would add 540,000 back to the fund balance. This is based on the assumption that the millage rate remains at 21. The fund balance for all years is above the minimum 4% as required by the board. General fund millage rate. As stated earlier, the fiscal year 23 millage rate will remain at 21. This slide shows the millage rate history from 2014 to present. As you can see, the millage rate varies and dependent on the economy and the needs of the district. Although the millage rate will remain the same, additional revenue is projected based off of a minimum of a 7% growth in the tax digest. We will not know the exact growth of the tax digest until the Board of Assessors approve the real estate values, which is tentatively scheduled for May 19th. After receipt of the tax digest from the county and determining the tax digest growth fiscal impact on the school district, the board will make a final decision on the millage rate. There will be three public budget hearings in June on the millage rate before final adoption. Again, although we are not increasing the millage rate, we do anticipate a minimum increase of 7% in the tax digest. The tax digest is the value of property within the city schools of Decatur District. For example, a 7% increase in tax digest means that the value of a house has increased by 7% when compared to last year. A 7% digest growth on a property that was valued at 600,000 for the current fiscal year would mean the value of the house is now 642,000. The school district applies 50% of the value of the property to determine the assessed value. This means we take the value of the property, divide it by two to get the 50% assessed value, multiply the assessed value by the 21 millage rate, and this gives the school taxes per year before any exemptions. So currently for a house value at 600,000, the annual property tax is 6,300 before any exemptions. If the tax digest grows by 7%, the value of the property increases by 7%. And since the millage rate is a percentage of the assessed value, the amount of taxes you pay increases as the value of your property increase. So although we are not increasing the millage rate for property valued at 600,000, we would receive an additional 441 in tax revenue based on the 7% increase in the value of the property. Basically, with a 7% tax digest growth, this will be an annual increase of $74 for every $100,000 value for property. This slide is your fiscal year 2024 tentative budget for all four funds. Questions and comments? This will conclude the tentative budget hearing for the fiscal year 24 budget. Thank you for attendance. Thank you, Ms. Broom. Thank you, Lanita. You all are welcome.